it comes to getting down and dirty in video games, these locales certainly fit the bill in their own unique ways. What have you come for? We're prepared to fulfill your every whim. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video game strip clubs and brothels. Seriously. Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. For this list, we're pulling back the curtain and taking in gaming's surprisingly large amount of adult entertainment establishments. Ranging in size, decoration, and even purpose, these strip clubs and brothels are all united in their embrace of the art of pleasure. I intend to do more than talk. Number 10, The Vixen Club, Hitman Absolution. <laughs> Time to get away from the crowds and sneakily kill some targets. During the events of Hitman Absolution, the consistently amoral assassin Agent 47 finds himself on the trail of Dom Osmond, the owner of the Chicago-based Vixen Club. Said club appears fairly standard at first, a crowded central dance floor, bright pink neon lighting, and the requisite stripper stages. Hey, you got a sister? I'm right here in the middle of this hey. whole thing! However, exploring the Vixen Club's side rooms reveals a few surprises, including a disturbingly voyeuristic two-way mirror and a faulty disco ball that can double as a fatal trap for Osmond. <laughs> Number 9. Safe Word Saints Row the Third. Safe Word is just a BDSM club that caters to various acts of perversion. The name comes from... Ah! We got it. It's a fitting title, that's for sure. When the Third Street Saints arrive in Steelport, they are sent to rescue and extract the auto-tune reliant pimp Zemos, which means venturing into Safe Word, a BDSM-themed brothel. You the manager? I don't know anything! I'm just here for a bachelor party! Players later get a closer look at the unusual outfits and imprisoned prostitutes of Safe Word when the Saints boss has to escape captivity and liberate the building while naked. I would rather not know. From then on, it serves as quite the rewarding stronghold, what with its increase in hourly income, unique vehicles, and other unlockable bonuses. Number 8. Brotherhood Brothel – The Darkness 2 Hi there, baby. You looking for a good time? Short-lived as the visit may be, Jackie Estacado's journey to this particular location is hard to forget. This brothel is the epitome of seedy activity and debauchery, with its low-key lighting, surplus of security measures, and a lack of concern for privacy. All I'm saying is we go to management and air our concerns. Walking through its halls alongside Jackie's contact Venus is something of an unsettling experience, though mildly amusing in how much can be seen and heard of its patrons. Are you done yet? When the bullets start flying, however, it's an appropriately grim location for Jackie to begin cutting loose. Number 7. The Pearl, Dragon Age Origins Like they say, you have to slay the dragon before you get the princess. There's a little something for everyone here. Mmm, roll me at your initiative. Those looking for drinking and all kinds of sexual favors in Denerim might do well to visit the Pearl, a reasonably fancy brothel. I keep telling them, no one can resist the dwarf. <laughs> Besides the expected range of entertainment, players can also learn the duelist specialization from the ship captain Isabella here. I am flattered that you wish to learn from me, sweet thing. Then there's the surprise me option which leaves your character in all kinds of unusual situations, from awakening in a room full of flower pots to having their hands tied. I have just the thing. Come with me. Number 6. Venice Strip Club. Metro. Last Light. What kind of dance would you like, sweetie? Tell me, don't be shy. I'm quite imaginative. Even in the darkest of places, there's always room for a strip club. Where do I put the bullets? <laughs> During the level Venice, introspective soldier Atium makes his way through a flooded metro station, open to outsiders but overcome by organized crime. Are you sure? Nowhere is this more apparent than in the strip club Atium happens upon, a curtained off section of the Venice station raised from the ground floor. Alright, we had some fun, now it's time for work. While its warm red lighting and openness to the public may seem inviting, the presence of a nearby guard maintains a certain tension during your visit. Hey, at least there's room to sit and relax. If you decide to come back, I'm always around. Number 5. The Belle du Nuit. The Saboteur. 
Hiding in plain sight has never seemed so audacious. In the open world game of The Saboteur, ex-mechanic Jean Devlin works with the French resistance and operates out of the Belle de Nuit, the largest brothel in Paris. You're in Paris, my friend. In this city, no one drinks alone. Not only does the bell serve as a hideout for Sean, it also doubles as a meeting place for resistance members, with Nazi personnel still regularly frequenting the place. <laughs> it's this risky balance between serving all customers and housing our heroes, plus its visual roots in cabaret, that leaves players dwelling on the bell well after its passing. Does the need for justice end at some land drawn on a map? Aye, if it's a map of Ireland. You Frenchmen have unrealistic expectations. Number four, Red Light District Strip Club, Duke Nukem 3D. In the second level of Duke Nukem 3D, the titular gunslinging hero makes his way through the abandoned streets of Los Angeles and comes upon a strangely still active strip club. If not for the pig cops waiting in ambush for Duke, it'd be a nice if a bit seedy area to rest after back-to-back -back action. Even after All Out Havoc breaks out, the strippers still remain active and are still willing to bear all for a few bucks. Hey, at least they get a pretty cool one-liner out of it. Shake it, baby. You wanna dance? Number three, the golden cat. Dishonored. Some establishments walk the fine line between sophisticated and sensual. Such is the case for the Golden Cat, a high-end blend of steam house, brothel, and burlesque parlor located in the city-state of Dunwall. In the midst of his quest for revenge, the bodyguard-turned-assassin skulks through its corridors to rescue the Empress's daughter Emily and kill the Pendleton brothers. Finally, I've been like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight, Bonnie? The Golden Cat proves quite grand and sizable, with the topside parlors giving way to a much seedier underground section. <laughs> Packed with private suites, special implements such as an electric chair, and other surprises, it's not hard to see the appeal, I guess. No! <laughs> Number two, the Honey Bee Inn, Final Fantasy VII. While this bee-themed brothel may be an optional location to visit on the road to infiltrating Don Corneo's mansion, it's definitely worth a look. For one thing, while the girls at the inn do wear lovely bee outfits, the rooms stand out just as much with their individual themes. There's also some hidden items and interactions that can aid Cloud Stripe's later cross-dressing efforts, adding to the value of making a stop here. Plus, that hot tub scene with Cloud and the muscular man is fascinating, to say the least. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Is that why you've come? Gonna lift it with a kiss. You available? Welcome to the Rosa in Fiore, stranger. Salve. Would you be kind enough to call the owner for me? Madonna Solari is not in. <laughs> I hoped this classy-looking establishment would have a phone so I could call Passos. Either that or a gun so I could shoot myself and save these kids the bother. Number one, Vanilla Unicorn Gentleman's Club, Grand Theft Auto V. You and me, we got a new home. It may be the only location of its kind available to frequent in San Andreas, but that is not a reflection of its quality. Hey, you two, you two, I want you to give this boy a good time <laughs> For a long time. <laughs> this neon lit strip club, rebranded as a gentleman's club, gets taken over by resident psychopath Trevor Phillips during the short but bloody mission Hang Ten. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. From then on, the vanilla unicorn acts as both a fun adult themed diversion and a safe house, allowing players to save, access Trevor's wardrobe, and even partake in a few free drinks. Ah, the perks of being the boss. Oh, you're a oh, you still got scraps, huh? 
Do you agree with our list? <sighs> oh, yes! What's your favorite strip club or brothel in gaming? For more exciting top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. The choice is yours! Keep it down. That sort of talk will get us both a bullet in the back of the head.